I must apologize for having been gone so long. Um, here it is Tuesday, and comic books came out last Wednesday. I feel absolutely terrible um, about the delay, but um, hopefully next week's video won't take so long. I got five of the new number ones this week. <clears throat> last week, whatever. Um, I got Batman and Robin. Scoot a little closer. I got. Uh, I picked up Batman and Robin. I picked up Deathstroke the Terminator. I picked up Demon Knights, Suicide Squad, and of course Green Lantern. So, what did I think of these books? Overall, every single book I read this week impressed me very, very much, except for Demon Knights. I really just did not care for this book. I mean, the artwork on it is, is pretty sick, but uh, the story just lost me. I'll be really honest. You know, I mean, some of you guys may have enjoyed it, but I've talked to a lot of people who just didn't didn't really get it, kind of like me. I just, I just didn't think it was anything to go on about, and I don't think I'll be picking up the number two. Next we have Batman and Robin. I gotta tell you, at the start of um, of this relaunch. Batman and Robin was going to be my very favorite book. Like, it was the book that I looked forward to the most. Right, you've got Damian Wayne as Robin, you've got Bruce back as Batman. I, I figured everything would be really good, plus what they, they told us in the previews. They said Batman would kind of have to deal with the repercussions of Batman Inc., which was a terrible idea to begin with, but whatever. Grant Morrison's just full of bad ideas. But, uh, <clears throat> say what you will about him. Everybody seems to like him. So, Batman and Robin, it turned out to be really good. I like it a lot. Bruce, uh, is, is kind of teaching Damien about, about what it means to be Batman, why he's Batman, you know, the things that kind of make him tick. Uh, seems like it's gonna be really good. Deathstroke! That was so good! I was so impressed! I was so happy with this one. I, I didn't know what to expect. I've never read a lot of Deathstroke. I've never read any Deathstroke. So, he gets hired by this guy to be an assassin, but he is an assassin. But he gets hired to take on this job, and it turns out that uh, he has to share the job with all these kids. And when I say kids, I mean they're like in their 20s, but they're up-and-coming assassins, and by the end of the book... The guy that paid off Deathstroke was like, Hey, isn't this going to be a great team? And Deathstroke says, All I see is competition. And then he kills them all. And it's pretty great. I'm not going to lie. I really liked that. Next up, Suicide Squad. This was awesome. Loving that Harlequin design. Yep, it's good stuff. It really was. Um, the book is about them kind of going through initiation more or less. It's really weird, but um, but yeah, Suicide Squad was killer. I can't wait to to finish reading a little more. The last uh, book on my pull list this week was Green Lantern. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. It's written by Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns does some good stuff. You know, I think so far, out of every single number one I've gotten out of the new out of the new lineup, Green Lantern has been my favorite. It was so well written and so many cool things are going on. Sinestro is a part of the Green Lanterns again. Not only that, but he has Hal's ring. Uh, I, and Sinestro doesn't even want to be a, a Green Lantern again. You know, and it's so cool because Sinestro is, is just so unhappy about it and yet he's got this tremendous power that you can wield, and it's just, it's so good. I can't wait for the number two on that one. Uh, so that's, that's the, uh, end of my lineup for this week. That's all the new number ones I got. And I went to my local Great Escape. Not where I get my regular comics, by the way. I go to Comic City 2 in Rivergate, Tennessee. But, uh, anyway, I'm up here in Bowling Green going to college, and I picked up, uh, Flash Rebirth. Uh, it's all about Barry Allen... Uh, being the Flash again after being gone for so long um, after the events of, um, I think it was Infinite Crisis, or Crisis on Infinite Earths, or whatever they want to call that. Pretty sure that's what happened. Anyway, um, I have not read it yet, but I'm looking forward to it because it's written by Jeff Johns, 
and so far he's really good. And that's what comics are all about. I mean, you've got your favorite characters, of course, but, but really it's all up to the writer and the artist, because you can take anybody and make them interesting if you have the right team under the belt. So, uh, <clears throat> that's my pull for this week. I'll be much quicker on the video this coming week. Um, this coming week, I am picking up, uh, let's see, hang on, let me find it. Oh, didn't save that. Okay, well, this week I'm picking up some other cool stuff. I think, um, Dark Knight's on there, and actually, maybe Dark Knight is, no, Dark Knight's definitely this week. I think I'm only picking up two or three titles this week. I wasn't, oh, I know Nightwing, I know I'm picking up Nightwing this week. I wasn't originally planning on getting Red Hood and the Outlaws, but I think I'm going to pick that up if they have any copies left by the time I get to the store. Maybe Catwoman, we'll see, we'll see, but, um, anyway, so that's our show for this week.